thing. That's a fun one to play. I always like playing. That's good with a fiddle in it too, you know, when it comes around. So this one, I've got a friend named David Atkins. He's a great, great singer, and he's him and I have written quite a few songs, and he's actually recorded a few. But this one has not been recorded, and uh, he used to drive a rock truck up in the mountains above uh, Elkhorn City, Kentucky, if you know where that is. And uh, he used to call me on the phone. I could always tell it was him. He'd go, break. I hear, <laughs> I could hear that rock truck in the background. And he'd have an idea for a song. And he called me one day. He said, I got an idea for a gospel song. He said, better build your boat. What do you think of that? And I'm going, well, I don't know. I don't know. Think much of it. I don't know what it would be. <laughs> he said, You know, we're kind of getting you better build your boat. And I said, Well, I think I get it. So it was funny because uh, so I, I, I thought about that and I, I ended up writing a verse and a chorus and then I sent it to David and I said, Well, why don't you write a second verse? You know, he's, Yeah, I like what you did. I really like that. And so I waited a month. I didn't hear from him, so I wrote a second verse. And then I said it to him. He said, boy, that's really good. I said, well, that's good. Why don't you write the third verse now? <laughs> and I waited another month. Pretty soon I, I get him paste and I wrote the third verse. And I sent it to him. He said, man, that song sounds really good. We done good, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. This is a this is a gospel song that we hope gets recorded. It's called Better Build Your Boat. <laughs> you better get up. Storms are moving in, clouds are forming, oh that's an awful wind. Satan's sea, it's on the rise. Don't let it, let it. Uh -oh. I gotta start over again. I'm gonna do this all afternoon because I haven't done this in a while. So I mean, you better get up. Storms are moving in, clouds are forming, that's an awful wind. Surprise. It's no surprise that Satan see that it's on the rise. Better build your boat. Rain's coming down. Get right with God or you might drown. Set your sails heaven bound. It's your only hope. Better build your boat. Sleep. Oh, the valley's wide, oh, and the ocean's deep. The highest mountain, well, it be made low. Will you be ready when it's time to go? There will be more. Rain's coming down. Get right with God, or you might drown. Set your sail. Your only hope, you better build your boat. So get on your knees, give your life to Him. Down here on earth, oh, it's sink or swim. But your boat's gonna rock, your boat's gonna roll. But through it all, they bring you safely home. Right with God, or oh, you might drown. Set your sail, heaven bound. He's your only hope. Better build your boat. He's your only hope. Better build your boat. Think of Dave up there in his old rock truck in Kentucky. And all that. This next one, uh, I wrote about my grandfather, and I didn't really think it'd be recorded. I, you know, some personal songs don't get recorded, but he was a all in a real interesting fella. And uh, he uh, came from Norway when he was 13, and uh, uh, 
emigrated and all that to Minnesota and then Wisconsin. And uh, I was born in, my wife and I originally from Wisconsin, so I know that all the Tampa Bay Buck fans are, are sacrificing to be here with the game going on. But we're Packer fans, so we don't care. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, so we, uh, we grew up near Lambeau Field up there, just south of the little town of Appleton. So. Uh, but anyway, this, uh, he came over when he was 13, and, uh, and uh, when we were growing up, we always saw, he, he had this habit of drinking coffee out of a saucer. Anybody know anybody that does yeah. that? Yeah. And he said, I thought, well, growing, I thought he was the only one that ever did that. You know? <laughs> but I found out later on after I wrote this song that, that a lot of other people do it too, yeah, at least to that generation, you know. And, and uh, <clears throat> so I started, that was the first line of the song, you know, he drank his coffee from a saucer. And so this, uh, I never really intended this song to get recorded, but it was recorded by a band in Canada called the Spinney Brothers. It actually became a nominated for Song of the Year uh, back here about seven or eight years ago, or something like that. And uh, I think because a lot of people know people like my grandfather, you know, and and, uh, and maybe uh, we need a little to go back to that kind of life, maybe sometimes. And this is uh, this is a song I wrote called about my grandfather called Grandpa's Way of Life. He drank his coffee from a saucer, rolled his smokes from an old tin can. He could play Sally Gooden on the fiddle. Yeah, he was grandma's kind of man. Spent six days a week behind the plow mule, turning acres into roads. He'd even get up early Sunday mornings, put on his only Sunday clothes. And I wonder how things got so complicated. You know it's hard to find a good old bar all night. I'd love to throw computers out the window and go back to Grandpa's way of life. See, in the 30s, he tried to give up farming. Sold electric power door to door. Swore he'd never buy a German auto After he got back in 44 His hands and words were stronger than I And son, you can take that to the bank Every year when we brought in the harvest Grandpa always knew just who to thank And I wonder how things got so complicated you know it's hard to find a good old Randall night And I'd love to throw cell phones out the window And go back to my grandpa's way of life He could fix anything with bailing wire or duct tape he called in God's essential tools. He never had much use for the TV. All except for Walter Cronkite's evening news. He only had an eighth grade education. No diploma hanging just for show. Oh, but when it came to teaching me a lesson, He'll always be the smartest man I know And I wonder how things got so complicated If I could hear his fiddle play tonight Well, I'd throw my computer out that window And go back to my grandpa's way tonight I just 
just go back to my grandpa's way I
you know. But uh, anyway, the same, a little more humorous note. We had uh, Dale called me one time from, he was in Clearwater, and Bob Evans. And uh, I do like Bob Evans biscuits and gravy. You know? <laughs> Hard to tell, but you know. <laughs> Too late for me, save yourself. <laughs> so anyway, he called, he texted me from Bob Evans one morning, and all the text said was, "The woman always drives me crazy, but I love her more than biscuits and gravy." Oh. And I said, "Well, that's our next song right there." <laughs> and this is getting recorded this winter by a band of North Carolina. And it's just a fun song. Maybe you can identify with it. I, I resemble it, I guess. <laughs> Her country smile made me a believer. Like Johnny Cash, we buried in a fever. That woman, she always drives me crazy. But I love her more than biscuits and gravy. When we fight, I always surrender. When we said I do, I knew it was forever. Together till we're pushing up daisies. I love her more than biscuits and gravy. You all sing along with that. I promised her the land of milk and honey. But we're drinking beer and eating fried bologna. I work two jobs, she still calls me lazy, but I love her more than biscuits and gravy. When we fight, I always surrender. When we knew that, I knew it was forever. Together till we're pushing up daisies, I love her more than biscuits and gravy. Complains, we're always out of money, and tells me that my jokes just ain't funny. But when I screw up, she's always there to save me. That's why I love her more than biscuits and gravy. When we fight, I always surrender. When we said I do, I knew it was forever. Together till we're pushing up. Hot shot special and your favorite meat and three, an endless cup of coffee and the county's best sweet tea. The meatloaf and the menu, well, they haven't changed at all. The first dollar bill they ever made is framed up on the wall. Well, old Fred back on the griddle. He can always make you laugh. The Picasso of the pancake in an apron and ball cap. Well, folks don't need the internet 
They get their news from Rose, 30 years behind the counter, from opening to close. It's America, small town country diners, homemade ice cream and a slice of apple pie. America, small town country diners, home cooking and comfort on the side. big table in the corner well it always fills up fast it's where the old men gather and make up lies about the past while hand music in the background plays Hank Williams greatest hits they're solving the world's problems over gravy and grits it's American small town country diner Homemade ice cream and a slice of apple pie. Oh, America, small town country diners. Home cooking and comfort on the side. It's almost like a second home, a welcome you can feel. A small town country diner. Serves up more than just a meal. It's American small town country diners. Homemade ice cream and a slice of apple pie. American small town country diners. Home cooking and comfort on the side. Oh, it's home cooking. And comfort on the side. I make people better in that place. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I could write that. For, you know, you write for most of the time. I write from experience. You know, experiences that I have, things that. I've done you write what you know about, and I, and uh, all my life I've always tried to write the truth of what I see, you know, and uh, and so I think that's that's why it's, it comes out kind of natural, you know, conversational. So I enjoy that, and uh, I hope somebody records that sometime, you know, we'll see. But we just finished writing, so you're one of the first ones to hear it, really. So that's pretty cool. This song. Uh, is on my CD, and I've got CDs in the back. My wife Jan is back there with CDs. I think they're ten dollars a piece. They are usually fifteen, but we'll go ten dollars today. So, but anyway, this song uh, I wrote about my mother, and my mother liked cardinals, the redbirds. You know, she's and and that's a real common thing I found since I I recorded this song and had it out there. It's been with this has been recorded a couple times. It's going to be recorded again here this winter by a band in uh, uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. But, uh, but she had every, everything was cardinal around the house, cardinal plates and cardinal statues and cardinal things on the wall, you know, embroideries, all, everything cardinal. So <clears throat> this is a true story. And, uh, my mom, she'd been, she'd been gone about 20 some years now, but this goes back, um, uh, she had cancer real bad for about the uh, last few years. And pancreatic cancer finally got her, but I was up in Wisconsin for about 10 days, and and uh, we always had a jam. My wife and I, we, back in this goes back to pre-Windows days, you know, when you had the DOS, you know, you had to put pound and all that stuff. So I'm dating myself, this goes back a ways. We had a group of musicians who we had a chat room. We talked about bluegrass music and decided to get together and. Hinton, West Virginia, which is near Beckley, West Virginia. Everybody been down by Beckley and New River Gorge area and all that. And we were down there staying at a 4-H camp in May before the camp opened. We had a friend that could get us in there. And so we went down there and beat off the plastic beds and, and <laughs> cleaned them off. 
and we stayed there on the weekend, played music, and uh, I was up home, and my mom was in her last days, and and uh, she said, well, uh, I said, I'll just stay here. I mean, we're not going to go down to West Virginia, and he, she said, I'm not going to go to my grave feeling guilty. I made you miss a jam session down in West Virginia, you know, to <laughs> play music. So I said, we pretty much said everything we need to say anyway. Been up there, so we went down to West Virginia, and uh, it's a true story. This is back when they had pay phones on telephone poles, you know, in the campground. And uh, Saturday night, I call. This was Mother's Day weekend, you know, and we were down there. And uh, um, Saturday night, I called my sister up in Wisconsin. She said, "Doesn't look good, whatever." And uh, so I called uh, Sunday morning. It's a beautiful night morning on the Greenbrier River. The sun was shining, and uh, and I called up my sister and said, "Mom, well, Mom's gone." And believe it or not, that moment, a cardinal landed on the pole. That was, uh, so I wrote this song for her, been recorded several times, called Mama Love the Redbirds, and I hope you like it. Mama loved the redbirds, she used to watch them fly, paint a pretty picture in the blue Virginia sky. Nothing she liked better than to hear the redbirds say, Sit for hours talking to them all. Mama loved the red bird. She'd say, When I get to heaven in my Savior's care, I'll send down a red bird. You'll know that I'm there. And he'll sing pretty music like none you've ever heard. And Mama Sitting on the wire, a whole host of red birds sitting like wine. She'd say, When I get to heaven in my Savior's care, I'll send out a red bird, you'll know that I am there. And you'll sing pretty music like none you've ever heard. Let Mama love the red bird. Sunday. 
I was sitting in our Methodist church. We were we went to the United Methodist Church up in Pickerington, Ohio, mm. just outside of Columbus. Yeah. And uh, the pastor of Jim Riggs at the time, he's no longer there a pastor there anymore, but this is years ago. And uh, of course, he had the, the TVs up, you know, like they do now and everything. And his sermon came on, the title of his sermon was The Third Day. Yeah, right. I looked at that and I said, man, what, something about that that's hitting me, you know. And uh, so I went home after that sermon. I wrote that down on the bullet. I took a pencil. And I wrote down this line uh, on a book, and it said, from the third day on. And I got home and wrote this song. Hope you like it. It's on the CD, too. The sky was black as midnight in the middle of that day. They laid on board and sailed in a grave. The first day they walked away, thought all hope was gone. What would life be like from that day home? Well, the second day abandoned, lost and all alone. They wandered like a child without a home. But thanks to God our Father, that stone was rolled away. He gave us life beyond the second day. From the third day on, Christ is risen. From the third day on, from the third day on, we are forgiven. Make sure you're living from the third day on. <clears throat> are you living your life? In that first or second day, are you holding on to things that fade away? Give your life to Jesus, He's God's eternal Son, and live your life from the third day on.
cat eating a piece of celery and it's got millions of ears, you know? <laughs> it's like, what the heck is that? You know? So, I wrote this with a good friend of mine out in Buffalo, Wyoming. He owns the Occidental Hotel. Anybody ever been out to Buffalo, Wyoming? In the Bighorns? If you love history, this is the place to go. It was built in by 1880. And it's just like you walk back in the 1800s at this hotel. It's on the historic register. But Dave is a great songwriter. And during COVID, we had never met each other. And we started writing songs over, over text and emails and everything else and phone calls. And since then, we've written probably 70, 80, I don't know how many songs we've written. And uh, this was one of them. And he had written a song called... I want to sing a song in the key of love. And I thought that was pretty cool. And then I said, well, you could, for some reason it hit me, I said, you could change around and say, love is the key. And so I said, I called I said, well, I'll call David up because I owe him that much. I kind of got the idea from one of his songs. And uh, so we put this song together and it's been recorded in the views and and there's people singing it all over the world. We've got the Philippines and India and everywhere else. They put this up singing this song. And uh, you can sing along if you want. When you get the chorus, you'll, you'll get it. Uh, if I get it in my head now, wrap my head around these songs, they haven't sung for a while. This world is filled with trouble, hearts so full of pain. The walls are closing in, it seems like no escape. But love the greatest gift God gave to you and me. Fear is the lock, love is the key. Fear is the lock, love is the key. Cut the master key that day on Calvary. Fear is the lock, love is the key. When the devil finds your shoulder, he'll whisper in your ear, telling lies about tomorrow, filling you with fear. You can stand up to Satan when you're down on your knees. Cause fear is the lock, love is the key. Fear is the lock, love is the key. Call on his name, he'll set your spirit free. See, Jesus cut the master key there on Calvary. Don't matter if you're rich, don't matter if you're poor, we're all the same when despair is at the door. And there's nothing on this earth God's love can't defeat. that day on Calvary. Fear is the lock. Love is the key. I think I'll do one more and I'll take a little break. It's been about 45 minutes. I, I've written about 4,000 songs, so we'd go on a while. But uh, uh, I think... Uh, they're going to take up a love offering uh, pretty quick right here between, before the intermission. So I don't know if you want to talk about it, and then I'll talk about the song. Okay. So, uh, what, uh, are, 
You want the love offering before the for us to go before the song? Whatever you want to do. Okay. It's, it don't I matter think to me. What we'll do is uh, we're gonna have the right after John Prine had passed away. We were both kind of John Prine fans over the years. So we we were channeling John Prine when we wrote this song. We didn't know what the name but we just called it the COVID song. And we're hanging out waiting for times to get better. That's what we're doing, you know. It all started with an itty bitty bug. Can't shake hands, can't get a hug. We're walking around like we're on drugs, waiting for time to get better. Uncle Sam's got a master plan. Worst idea since Vietnam. Handing out checks, ain't life grand. Waiting for time to get better. Oh, we're hanging around waiting for time to get better. The whole world just got a dear John letter. Turn off the heat, put on his letter. Hanging around waiting for time to get better. Gasoline's low, just my luck, got no place to go. Got day old donuts and a bad cup of joe. Waiting for time to get better. Toilet paper's the latest craze. Can't believe how much I weigh. We're caught in the movie ground all day. Waiting for time to get better. Oh, hanging around waiting for time to get better. Oh, we're just got a new job left. Turn off the heat, put on a sweater. Hanging around waiting for time to get better. Stocking shelves and wearing scrubs. Give them love and a big blue thumb. Waiting for time to get better. Like a kidney stone, this too shall pass. I'm gonna throw me a big old bag. Buy some beer with stimulus cash. Waiting for time to get better. Oh, we're waiting for time to get better. Oh, we're just gonna hear John Lennon. Turn off the heat, put on a sweater. Hang around waiting for time to get better.
turn that down just here. Just uh, gets uh, recorded soon. If I start t t talking about it, we've been through West. Anybody been through West Texas? And the wind blows all the time. There's not a whole lot of nothing back there. But uh, but there's a pretty hardy group of people that live in that kind of country. So this is a song about that. First, I just won't leave that tumbleweed town out in West Texas. Hope I remember all the words. It's called Tumbleweed Town. Down slow around here. There's a hard west wind through a Texas town. It'll blow it away if it ain't nailed down. There's a Baptist church and a liquor store. One's for Friday night, the other Sunday morning. Got nothing but friends for miles around. That's why I stay in the summer town. Tumbleweed town, tumbleweed town. I ain't leaving this tumbleweed town. Well, a storm can turn the sky to black. Then the blood red sun will burn your back. But it's the heart that makes it good. Cause a hard life here is understood. In this tumbly town, tumbly town, I leave in this tumbly town. They got leather skin and hearts of gold. See, kinder souls just can't be found. Love flows like a river through a tumbleweed town. Oh, tumbleweed town, tumbleweed town. I ain't leaving this tumbleweed town. See, I've loved and worked this barren land. So bury my bones in the Texas sand. Lay a marble stone down in the ground. Reaching down the left, the stone will be down. Sitting one day, I said, 
you know, getting a little older now, and I said, if I could write a letter back to myself when I was 16, what would I write myself in that letter? What advice would I give my 16-year-old self, you know? So, uh, <clears throat> again, this one really didn't, I didn't really mean to have it recorded by anybody, but uh, it kind of snuck out on me. And so uh, this is a, a song, maybe you can identify with it. It's called A Letter to Myself. Get to you. If I could write a letter to myself when I was young, and mail it back 40 years and tell of things to come. If it could be delivered the day I turned 16, well, this is what I'd write if I could tell him anything. I'd say spend more time with Grandpa. He'll be gone in one short year. The things you think are problems just aren't worth the tears. And don't be tricked by the devil All in the name of fun And if he sees you coming Well just turn around and run Cause you won't believe how fast the years go by So grab on to your dreams And just hang on for the ride Don't need nothing on the shelf That's what I'd write that kid In a letter to myself I'd say listen to your daddy And what he's got to say But I know you'll tune him out You'll get up and walk away but there'll come a time you'll long for All those lines you never heard You would trade a fortune To hear him say just one more word Well, I know you'll cry for Jenny When she breaks up with you I can spare you all that heartache Pain she puts you through Cause you'll meet a special lady Take her for your wife and 35 years later You'll still love her more than life And you won't believe how fast The years go by So grab on to your dreams And just hang on for In a letter to myself Oh, that's what I'd write that kid In a letter to myself It was the dog days of summer, a 
hot July breeze I was sitting on the creek bank just to cool in my feet When I heard people talking down a path through the trees Soon the whole congregation came a-walking past me All of them sinners came a-walking past me Preacher man leading the way. He stopped at the creek's edge and started to pray. He said, Dear God in heaven, we thank you for this day. With crystal clear water, these souls you will save. And their sins washed down the sea. Their sins washed down the sea. Neath the shade of a willow, the Lord spoke to me. found myself standing waist deep in that creek. As crystal clear waters poured over my face, the power of salvation took my sins away. The power of salvation took my sins away. Oh, 
but so many gave everything they had for a folded flag. It says proudly on my mantle, so I never take for granted those who stood and served, no questions asked. Some say wars, we don't need them, but they sure do love their freedom. Say a prayer on the Arlington grass. Lord, take care of this great nation and this don't care generation. Cause there's still a few around like old granddad who are willing to give everything they No questions asked. Some say wars, we don't need them. They sure do love this freedom. For me, my thanks to those who breathe their last for a folded flag. There's a God, and we all need Him. And we thank Him for our freedom. And pray for those prepared to breathe their last. This is 
probably my most recorded song. This has probably been recorded 67 or 80 times over the years. But I wrote this song on the steering wheel of a car going 70 mile an hour down the interstate out of McDonald's napkin. That's a true story. And uh, <clears throat> I'd stopped in the town of Zanesville, Ohio, and I said, there you go. And I'd stopped in a McDonald's and got a biscuit. And uh, then I took off toward Columbus. And this idea got in my head, and all I had was a pen and a cup holder and a McDonald's napkin from the biscuit. So I grabbed a McDonald's napkin and I started writing and I, by the time I hit Columbus this song was written. And uh, uh, went on to be recorded by a band called Piedmont Railroad with the Isaacs. And I don't know if you've heard the Isaacs. And uh, this became Gospel Song of the Year in 2007. So I was... Somebody said, well, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be writing on the steering wheel of your car. I said, well, I, I suppose if I was killed writing a gospel song, it might be all right. <laughs> so I always figure anyway. So I'm going to leave you with this one. It's, a, the, it's on an it's on a, uh, uh, album called Heartache and Hope. And this was the song of hope on the album. So. It's called Beyond the Rain. When the skies are getting dark and clouds are moving in, when the storms of life fill our hearts with pain, just let the Savior in. For when we trust in Him, He will lead us beyond the rain, beyond the rain. There'll be no more dying, no more crying, no more pain. When we put our lives in the hands of Jesus, He will lead us beyond the rain.
appreciate it, Phil. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Frank. Was anybody blessed this evening? Oh, yes. yeah. It kind of seems like things are getting back to normal when you can do this. That's right. Let's hope it continues. Yes. Yeah. You know, go ahead. And... So I've been asked to pray for our group this evening.